Hello everyone and welcome to Nancy's Magic Touch and DIYs. Today I'm fixing up my uh, back uh, deck. Uh, it's been well overdue. Uh, we haven't done anything last year because of COVID so I didn't as much as stain my deck let alone decorate it. So this year I took everything out and I give it a nice fresh coat of stain and um, it's nice and cozy now. We can come out and hang out. We love hanging out back here. It's more private than the front deck uh, with our dogs and we like to have meals up here and breakfast and just relax and listen to some music. So um, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you what I did and just grab a nice warm cup of tea and let's get started. This has a major needs of TLC. So um, this is my stain. The name is Briar Moore. And this paintbrush is a five inch wide and it's magical. And look at the difference after two full coat of stain. I'm outside on my back patio deck. This is our little cozy spot where we want to go and relax and just chill. So I'm going to go ahead and put some furniture back here and show you what we can do with this. As you can see, uh, my deck is all freshly stained, two full coats. Um, it was quite worn out, so this is much, much better. In this area right here, um, I've made some curtains for privacy, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and put them on. I also want to mention that I put some lantern to each post.
one hour and 15 minutes later, everything is really uh, cleaned up well. So I shattered my glass. I'm a little bit upset about it, to be honest, but things like this happen. It was a stupid move from my end. I shouldn't have put the umbrella in. I should have really set my table the way I wanted it first. Um, it happened, it's done, it's done. Nothing I can do about it. Now I have to go in town and try to find a solution to make a top for my table or to find a replacement table in, my, in the meantime. Um, so wish me luck. I'm head to town going to search for a solution. So I found a table at Home Depot uh, for $89 plus tax, which was a really good deal. Now time to put this one together. There you go, folks. I found another solution. Here's the table. Um, it is black, well, granite, some sword. I would have preferred having a pale color table like before, but it is what it is. So what's not so bad, it's that it's the exact same color as, as you see here on the top of the table. Well, they match. So that's not too bad. I guess that's a good thing. I have these planters. I have three of them and they're different heights. I've had these for a few years and I really like them. So I'm going to reuse them. Um, I'm going to place them in a corner over there and then I'm going to take the pots and plant some flowers in it. They were in the process at the store um, of watering these plants and I asked them not to because I wanted to buy them and take them home and I didn't want uh, to get too wet in my car. So I'm going to plant these and give them a really good watering. I've changed my table again. I put it this way instead. See if it's more functional. Uh, but I, that could change again. <laughs> The umbrella stand is set up properly this time, so it should be okay. I've made these two lamps out of living room lamps that I had left. I will show a tutorial on how to do that. I have a tall and a short, so I'm going to put that on this side. I have bought a couple of things at Winners to put outside for my table, so I'm just going to set that up and I'm going to put things inside. I also purchased these items, they are like little boats. This one here is just big round one. I guess it's a nice container and I have two of the boats so I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put that. I've also purchased this. I'm going to put that right here for the moment. I purchased this at Walmart. A little drink caddy. I'm going to get that ready. I think I might put my third one uh, up here with the other ones. I have a feeling that I want to keep them together. And they are all planted and look how beautiful they are.
My lawn chair is usually on my front deck, but I decided that I wanted it out on the back deck this year. Rosie, what do you think of this back deck? Do you like it? Last year we didn't have it set up. This year we're all ready to relax. This is the princess. And I think the princess already claimed her spot. Hey Rosie. I have changed the table again as it was a little bit tight with the long chair um, in the corner so this is uh, more suitable this way. I also decided to only go with a four seater instead of a six seater. And the table is all ready to have some great meals and also hopefully having some good company over for some uh, great meals this year. I also planted some plants in my wooden box. Um, the black box in the inside are not very what I was looking for, but that's all I could find. So they'll have to make do and it doesn't look that bad. And these will grow nice and full. And here is the result. Uh, it's completed. I wanted to keep this uh, clean and simple because when it rains, I basically put all the decor away so that's a lot of stuff to put away and I don't think I ever mentioned on any of my videos that red is my favorite color Well, it's done. What a day this was. I've been running through issues after issues all day long, but I bite the bullet and I got it done. Um, I've been using pretty much everything that I had on hand except for pretty much some fresh flowers. Um, I've had new items that I haven't used before. Um, in storage that I haven't had a chance to take out yet so I took advantage of that today and um, this is my nice um, cozy not perfect but cozy place to come and hang out and just relax with my family and puppies 
So if you like this video, please give me the thumbs up. I would love to hear your comments down below. And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel yet, well, please do that. And if you're from the area, come on in and have a nice warm cup of tea with me. Until next time, folks, have yourself a great day.